Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, we are um, we're just leaving the Miami Bay area and we're going into Draxall. We are driving through St. Anne and we are on the Northern Coastal Highway. Now Draxall is a residential area, but it's become, it's one of the fastest growing neighborhoods or communities in Jamaica. And I must say it's very impressive what they have done down here. They are building a lot of modern homes, like gated communities. There are beachfront properties, villas. It's very nicely done, very impressive. And I must say whoever is behind all this, it's a job well done. So basically now, St. Anne has the, the beach on the right of us. And so, this area, you're not going to find a lot of banks or government infrastructure. It's basically a residential area. And it's growing very fast. We're going to take a look at some of the, the areas. You have a lot of homes. Now, Draxall is, if you continue straight, five minutes, you're in St. Anne's Bay, where you have all the, it's a town. It's actually the capital of St. Anne. If you go back where we're coming from, five minute drive, you have Ocherios, major town in St. Anne, probably more developed than St. Anne's Bay. So in between now you have Draxall, and Draxall is just a residential community. So you're not going to find, um, you're going to find everything you need for a residential community. But it has a lot of homes, and they're newly built, so they're very modern. Okay, straight ahead on the left, this is a very large complex, but you can see it's gated, very nicely done. They're not going to let us see, but we're just going to give you an idea of how nice it is. And this is one of many complexes like this in Draxall. Draxall has thousands of homes like this, very nicely done. So you find when you have this large residential area, I'll give you an example. They don't even have a large supermarket. There is one, there's a supermarket in the gas station, but that's more like a convenience store. If you want to go to a supermarket, you're going to St. Anne's Bay or you're going to Ocherios. So that just gives you an example that Draxall is just like, I wouldn't even say suburbs, but it's suburbs. It's just a residential area and these homes as they build them they sell them there are so many that are under construction as the area is growing so fast and it's so close to two major towns it's on the northern coastal highway which is probably the nicest road in jamaica or one of them and because it's so close to Ocherios, if you want to live here, that's great. But if you want to buy it as an investment and rent it out on the Airbnb, it can be done so easily. Okay, this is another one. I actually should go into one of these complexes now. Give you an idea of just how nice they are. Okay, and you can see they're all gated communities, very modern. This is another one, Draxhall Manor. Okay, the security looks like they're actually checking. They have like an intercom system where you have to they have to check with the persons that you're going to. You can't just say you're going to Jim Brown. You have they will actually call and they verified you can go in or not. What we're going to do is fly a drone over here one day and that will give you an excellent view of the area. Alright, so um, with such a large residential community you're going to find plazas being built Surprisingly, they have, as we said, there is no major supermarket down here yet. But KFC just opened a store, Pizza Hut opened a store, and Starbucks actually opened a store. 
right on the main road so it's it that just goes to show you how this community is growing because okay let's take kfc now five minutes down the road there is a st anne's bay that has a kfc five minutes in the other direction you have two kfc's in ocherius and then right here in draxall you have another kfc being there but it's actually open so that just gives you an idea of just how busy this this residential area is now straight across the road you see so many homes that's also part of draxall it's vista del mar but it's in the draxall area and then as we continue driving towards st anne's bay you're going to see so many more um, complexes in the draxall area and so many under construction now a subscriber had asked us to make a video of some of the areas that are under construction so we're going to take a quick drive up there just to give you an idea but it's this is the kind of investment that jamaica needs this kind of developmental because a lot of persons overseas buy these these homes and rent them out to persons that visit Jamaica like the Airbnb model a lot of them so that's good for Jamaica's development and I don't know how many of these you can build how many areas you can develop like this because this one is perfect because it's right beside Otorios it's literally five minutes from Dunge River Falls, five minutes from Dunge River Falls, which is the most visited tourist attraction. Then you have Dolphin Cove, same five minute drive. And then you have Mystic Mountain. Those are the top three tourist attractions in Jamaica. Okay, so this, where we're going now is Draxall as well, but this is a new, there are new developments up here. I don't know if the homes are actually finished. So we're just going to take a quick tour because somebody had asked us to drive up here so they could see what's going on. Okay, it's going to be one of those gated communities so you can see the guard house being built. are in place the sidewalks so this is going to be a massive development there is so much construction going on I'm not sure if the camera is picking up everything and you notice this road no white lines I mean I have no idea why it's so hard to put in these white lines okay this looks like a complex that's more or less finished It's in a ventilator scene, but there you can just see the, the homes down there. And a lot, some are finished, some are under construction. So that's just to give you an idea. Okay, and then where you have this wall, there are homes being built on the other side, it's a huge development. sure if this road is going to take us all the way back to the main road so we're just going to turn around actually it might take us back out to the main road ok 
okay well this isn't really much of a road all right so we're just giving you an idea of what it's like down here basically the homes are under construction still but thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe have a good day